everybody, welcome to Adaptive Filmmaker. I'm Zach, and today we are talking about the tilt -a cooling system for the Canon R5. Because not many people have their hands on this. I've seen a lot of videos out there when you type in tilt -a cooling system. It's just a bunch of people planning on getting it, but only going over what they see online in pictures. So here it is in my hand right here. And it's pretty, pretty nice. I mean, it's very sleek. It makes the camera look pretty cool. Um, on the bottom here, it has a few quarter inch uh, screws, so you can put whatever you want down there. It has two settings for speed, uh, off, one, and two. And then it is powered by USB-C. For the people out there with questions on if you can fold your screen in with this connected instead of having to unscrew it and then be able to fold your screen back in on your camera, it's pretty simple. All you do is pull it down and that's it. I choose to keep a lot of plastic that I get with, with packaging just because they package it like that for a reason. And when you use this, you take this plastic off and a lot of people just end up throwing this thing away. But this piece back here is pretty sticky and I could imagine it being in my bag and just dust getting all over it. So I decided to keep this and all you do is stick it right back on and it's safe and good to go. Now let's talk power. How do you power this little thing? It powers through USB-C, so you need a power bank with you. I use a brand called Anchor or a brand called Belkin. These are the most trusted that I've had with me. I've never had an issue with these. Um, I used this one during the test with this R5 and the cooling system. It lasted the entire time, no issue, never even close to dying. It's a good, solid power bank. It is a little expensive. This Belkin one's a little expensive but uh, it's worth it, trust me. And then the Anchor is a little cheaper. It doesn't last as long as the Belkin, but it is a very solid power bank and I would trust this one as well. Now that we talked power, let's power this thing up and see how loud it is. There are two settings for speed. There's speed one and speed two. During the test that you'll see later, I just use speed one for the entire, for the entire test. Um, and it is not loud at all. It's actually perfect for inside. Uh, it doesn't bother the sound whatsoever. Um, speed two is a little louder, which is fine. Uh, especially if you're outside and you, you're going to put music in the background or you're going to put whoever's lobbed up or mic'd up over the audio that you're getting next to your camera. So it's not that big of an issue. So let's power this thing on. Um, it's powered by USB-C and, uh, here's speed one right here it's not that loud at all I mean speed one there's nothing here I mean I can even bring it closer to the, to the mic and it, yes it does make noise it's gonna make noise but it's definitely quieter than like lighting systems and things like that um, it's I believe it's quieter than the ninja as well when the ninja's fan kicks in, it's definitely quieter than that. Um, here, right next to the microphone, it's two inches away from the microphone. It's not that bad. So, speed number two is definitely louder though, you can tell. Here we go. Speed number two is for sure louder, but still not crazy loud. It's, it's, it's pretty normal. About two inches away from the microphone, and from here, you can tell the difference. It's definitely louder for sure. But when you're outside and you're shooting anything outside where you need to keep your camera cool, I don't see an issue with this how loud this is. Back to speed one. Nice. And then on top of that, once this thing kicks in, this piece right here that's underneath this plastic is what you have touching the camera. It is, it is cold. It's ice cold. I mean, it's nice. It definitely keeps the camera cool. That's for sure. Um, yeah. And that's the sound test. Now, just for reference, I'm just going to put this on here for you so you can see kind of how it goes on and go from there. So it
right here all you do is loosen these up and slide it until it fits into this where the screen holder is but see screen opens up and then of course I remember I keep the plastic so I take the plastic off and then I push it up into the screen like that make sure it's snug and there we go that's it it does make the camera look pretty cool I'm not gonna lie it adds some pretty unique qualities to this camera um, the screen still moves side to side back and forth just you just cannot close it um, like I said if you want to close it all you do is pull this down like that and then you shut the screen like that pretty simple you can't close this back up it there's a lip here that you, it just won't work um, so it sticks like this which is fine uh, normally you have it on a tripod or it's in a cage this still works in cages it's great um, but yeah that's it so taking it off you just put my plastic back on so it doesn't get dirty so now let's get to the test I'm setting everything up right now into 4k 60 frames per second in all eye with the cooling system on and on the bottom with the cooling system off and let's see how they run so I only have a 128 gigabyte CF Express card now every about 12 to 14 minutes I had to stop recording to format the card
So here are my final thoughts on the tilt to cooling system for the Canon R5. Yes, the camera does last longer with the cooling system. And yes, I will be using this in the field when needed. But I'd have to put an asterisk next to this cooling system just because the overheat signal comes on throughout the recording and you honestly don't know if the camera's gonna shut off or not. You're basically just risking it. Now I hope this test helps you decide on whether to buy this or not, depending on your needs. Everybody's needs are different. But for me, I'm gonna keep it in my bag just in case because as you can see, it does last longer with the cooling system on. Thanks for watching. Again, my name is Zach and this is Adaptive Filmmaker. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and share it with your friends. We still have a lot more reviews to do and I hope to see you on the next one.